Over the years, there have been a lot of really popular single-handed one-design boats with big classes that people really love and enjoy racing in. But how many of those boats are regularly just this much fun? The Aero is really taking off as the next great single-hander out there. I went for my first Aero sail in the Columbia River Gorge on a relatively moderate day, and the boat was so impressive. Here's what I had to say on the water that day. Let's see how the Aero feels up on the wind. Now the control lines are led so nicely out to the rail. And first thing, I mean, man, I, I'm not wearing hiking pants and it is not that bad. I don't feel it's, it's absolutely necessary to my comfort. My legs are comfortable, the rail is rolled, boat accelerates in the puffs. Man, does the boat just respond. Have a tack. Tack again. <laughs> Overhead clearance is really good. I have to slam my face into the cockpit and into my knees to get through the boat. I've got quite a bit of bang on. A little puck behind us. Throw a little vang, touch a board. Get up and going. No problem at all. And more puff here. Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh, so much fun. It's only blowing 15. It's not even windy. It's like just the dice. Pleasant sailing day. Beam to broad reaching. Super responsive. Puff comes on, just bear off a little bit. Use a little sheet. The rig's so light that when you make a movement, the correction just comes. You don't have to fight the boat at all. So much fun. Literature out there and thoughts from people who sail the boat different ways downwind but you know the way that the cockpit kind of leans in here is uh gives you a nice stable platform to work off of the waves there aren't it really any waves to speak of so it's uh not a lot of turning to be done but 